as a result of a kid and a parent, the kids would walk through the living room, and I didn't have things nicely displayed. I had them set on the table. And one young man, when he was about a freshman, said, what are you going to do with all this stuff? And I just turned around jokingly and said to him, well, I'll open a gallery and we'll sell it all. Well, he didn't forget. He uh, got me, made me business cards. He made me a sign. Um, and he kind of gently pushed me in that direction. And then one day I was taking, he was doing that all along on that side. And one day I had, I have a girl who is a graduate of Indiana State University, really talented and very artistic, very creative. And I kept trying to encourage her to do more things for Scholastic. And, and so I got her signed up for an art show and her mother came over and she says, okay, this is time, it's gonna stop. He, she says, if we take Kelsey's things to the art show, I know it's open to adults, you pick up some of your stuff and you take your stuff. She says, you're not doing the driving this time, I am. And I'm gonna be sure that you enter. And I went, okay, Rhonda. So I went and looked down the tables and I thought, okay, what do I pick up? I picked up a couple things and I took and they didn't separate the junior division from the senior division and I beat the student and I was like, oh no, that's not my point. My point was to encourage the kids and get them going and get them inspired to move on with life. So at that point I thought, okay, here it goes. So then I started going to art shows and taking things and found out, yeah, maybe I do artwork, I don't know. There are different glass techniques. There's blowing glass, and there's uh, molding of glass, there's casting of glass, there's flame work, and then there's flat glass work. And I'm doing the flat glass work because that's the least expensive to get into. But it's neat and attractive. The little piece up there, see that little green thing up there? Yeah. My uncle was on the line one day when I was about seven. This was before OSHA. And he took me into the plant, and I just was amazed at how it worked. And so he said, here's long tongs. You pick it off. So I picked a piece off, and at that point they were doing some type of bottle work because that's the neck of it. And I pulled it off and set it down, and he said, you know, we can move this around, and we can make something different. So I was impressed and caught at that age. Um, when I look at a finished piece, I know that someone has done a lot of in intense work, or work, and they've cared about it, and they've uh, molded it, and they've been willing to accept imperfections and are able to correct what they think are mistakes because if in all honesty there are several mistakes in here